All right, this is a week four update of YouTube. I didn't make one last week, forgot to, it's whatever. I'm back on track. Uh, I spent most of these last weeks, so I uploaded a video about eight, nine days ago, which I'm, I'm happy I did that. It was the, um, I forgot about it already. It was like how I, I don't even know, another studying video. Um, it's not performing as I thought it would, which is all right, you know, that's how you learn. Um, I'm just waiting for it to get pushed through the algorithm, but if it doesn't, whatever. Continue on. I started my next one. I started scripting it throughout this last week, so I kind of missed a lot. Um, I, sh I should have updated. It. It's whatever, though. I'll be more consistent from now on. But yeah, I was, I was, I spent that week scripting the video. I was spending most of my time actually looking for a good idea. So what I do, I go on YouTube, and right here, like, like I literally have it pulled something up right now. So you see right here. This video has 1.3 million views, right? 1.3 million. That's crazy, right? That's their most viewed video. So if you see I started by popular, most viewed video 1.3 million. If you see their second most viewed video is 178,000 views. So that's a huge difference, right? That's a huge jump. So what I'm looking for when I look for like good ideas are I think two or three things. One is that they have a super crazy outlier video. So this is perfect, right? This is an outlier video. They've never gotten a million views before ever. Second thing is sub to view ratio. So if you see right here, this channel, this girl, Amy, she has 21,000 subscribers, right? Only 21,000 and her most viewed video is 1.3 million. So that means her views most likely didn't come from subscribers, but from a cold audience. And that's kind of those, actually there's not three things, two things. Those are only two things I'm really looking for. Outlier video, right? And then it has to be something that is like their subscriber to view ratio is crazy different. So this is perfect, like 20K subs, but a million views. So clearly the algorithm helped in this, right? It wasn't like a subscriber thing or someone clicked him because it's him. Okay, there's a third one. It's not like some celebrity, because of course I can't really like replicate that. I interviewed Drake, like of course that's going viral, let's be real. Um, so yeah, like some things you can kind of tell, like you know what will go viral in some cases. Like you can see, um, that one girl, I forgot her name. She interviewed Drake. She interviewed um, a bunch of celebrities. She gained like a million subs in a few months, which is crazy. Of course, she used that through credibility. So what you do is like you get top people, other one people want to see. Like that's really all you're doing. You're just like the bridge to those people. But you know, this is like an outlier. Asking Yale students how they got into Yale, like that's a good, that's a good video people want to see. It's probably clearly a topic during this time period too. I mean, it's two years old, but even during this time period of like college applications, you know, kids are applying that they're really looking forward to it, you know? So yeah, it's just stuff like that I'm looking for. And I look through like hundreds of channels, thousands of channels at this point that have these outlier videos. It's like low subs, high views, and it's a, it's a crazy view ratio. And that's how I kind of learned like, okay, this is what makes things viral. This is why people are watching. This is why people are clicking this. So that's kind of like how I train my mind to learn the algorithm. That's like the process for me. And um, yeah, so I just did that. I looked through some ideas on like my niche, which is like schoolish, schoolish self-improvement. And I stumbled upon this one video, which is like how to glow up and become that student. Guy had like 20K subs, 30K, I don't even know. And this video had 1.4 million views. I'm like, okay, that's something I can work with. So I go to that, I go to that video, I watch it a bit. It's a short video, like six minutes long. Oh, that's another thing, forgot to add that. If the video length is really short, but the views are really high, that means the CTR or the click-through rate or the thumbnail is really good. That's pretty much what it means. Because usually what YouTube wants is like more watch time, right? So if there is, if there's a video that's short, but that video still went viral in comparison to the subscriber to view ratio on their channel, and it's an outlier video, then it's most likely the thumbnail that was really good, right? So this video that I'm trying to, I was replicating that and I took some inspiration from it. This video is really short. It was, I think, six minutes, which in YouTube is like pretty short, but it got 1.4 million views, which means that the thumbnail is what carried. That was a good thumbnail. But if, for example, the video was an hour long and it had a million views, but everything else still lined up, right? There was the you know the subscriber to view ratio um you know it's an outlier video on their channel whatever but if the video is like an hour long 
it would probably have more chance of it going viral simply because it's an hour long. So there might have been fewer people that watched to the end. But simply because people watched, the algorithm was like, let me push this. So they pushed it to more people. And simply by fact of pushing it to more people, more people will click. But it wasn't the thumbnail that got the click. It was the video watch time. So think of it like two... Think of like two ingredients that you add to a dish, right? If you add... Oh, no, that's a bad analogy. Let me try and think of this. So the algorithm is just trying to pick from like two utensils if you have utensil a which is watch time and utensil b which is click through rate they each have their own weighting so if the watch time is really high but the ctr is like eh then it'll still push the same as if the opposite was true this this would get the same views say for example um 10 minute watch time but one percent ctr as 10 percent ctr but one minute watch time those would probably get the same views because i've seen this happen on a, I've asked Cam, right? Cam is another guy that I work with, one of my friends. He's also growing on YouTube, he's trying to. And he's getting like 1K, 2K, 3K views. I'm like, I'm like interested in like his stats, right? And he sends me this, he's like, oh yeah, this one got like one minute AVD, this one got 3% CTR. I'm like, what? People barely watching your video, how's it getting pushed? And that's what I realized, which was if the watch time is high, CTR is low, it'll get pushed as the same as if the CTR was high and if the watch time was low. But if you have both, if you have really good watch time and really good CTR, that is mega viral. Like, that's crazy. So this and this or this and this, which is high watch time, low CTR or high CTR, low watch time, that might get, for example, 100K views. But if you have both, that might get a million views. And so that's what I'm trying to do. I try to, what I'm trying to copy the most is probably the thumbnail. So the ones that intrigue me the most are the videos that have, that are short, but they have a lot of views and their outliers and sub to view ratio all that so if i can go to that copy those thumbnails because i don't know how thumbnails work but i do know how videos work like i know how to make a good video keep people watching all of a sudden the ctr is taken care of because ctr is pretty much thumbnails and then watch time is something that i can work on because i'm actually good at that and so i have a greater chance a much greater chance of you know being able to blow up getting my views up and that's kind of the plan for me at least that's what i'm doing with this next video here um, again, I took it from this video, how to glow up and become that student. I might literally take the th title and thumbnail one for one, but I did change the thumbnail actually. I like switched up the pictures. I added, um, different text. What else did I do? I like brightened it. It's just, it's just a little different, you know, title. I might make how to glow up and become the top student, but I think that student works. So I might just keep it as that. But yeah, I literally, I have it pulled up in front of me right now. Like, look. Um, I was just editing this. As you can see, I edited the first about minute. You can see that. Like I edited the first minute. I still got <laughs> this much left to go. So I mean, <laughs> I got I got a bit of work to do. I got, I got a bit of editing to do. But so far, the first um, the first minute is done. So I'm proud of that. My work rate is I would say a little slower than usual. I think it's kind of like that that Christmas slump, which. It's like, you know, end of the year. Oh, you know, just relax a bit. It's kind of like that mental state of um, relaxing a bit more. But, um, yeah, it's not a big deal. You know, it's whatever. Again, I'm in this for the long haul. So, uh, as long as I'm pushing forward, I'm still making progress. And that's the goal for me, at least. Just make progress. Just push forward. And eventually, I'll start, like, setting more and more goals for myself. Of like, okay, work this much this day, get this much done this day, you know, actually optimizing my productivity. But as of right now, I'm just trying to make it more of a habit of even working on YouTube because I kind of killed off that habit when school started. Um, college apps, all that, two, three months ago. So now I'm just slowly trying to build back up into that work habit. So yeah, that's kind of, um, it's kind of a quick update, I guess. Not really quick, it's nine minutes. I give you a whole lecture on YouTube, but it's okay, it's whatever um what else what else anything else to mention i'm gonna graduate in a month actually almost a month less than a month now which to me is absolutely insane like that is wild you know like graduating in a month wow um uh, yeah it's just like 
I, I know now what it means to have a lot of free time. And so now I'm just going to try to like make a schedule around that because now I have full control of my time. Um, a lot of the day, I sometimes just lay around. I'm just like reading for really long or sometimes I'm just sitting outside. I think I can definitely have better use of that time. You know, like I could edit more. <laughs> I can do this stuff faster. I could script another video. Like I should be putting it towards that, but I'm not. And again, this is like a slow progression. This is just me getting slowly back into it. So as weeks pass, as time passes, I like slowly work towards, you know, growing that skill of working. And that'll help me just push forward a little harder, have that ability to grind through instead of using discipline all the time because it doesn't work. Um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much the days um, so far. This video will probably be done. I can probably finish it by what day is it today? I think it's Monday. It's Monday, right? I can probably finish it by Wednesday, actually. I might be able to finish it tomorrow. I don't even know. I want to see how fast I can work, how fast I can edit stuff and use that as like a benchmark for how long it takes me to edit a video. So I pretty much started today. Mm -hmm. I've only done like, in reality, like an hour of editing. And if an hour takes a minute, that means eight minutes should take about eight hours. But again, it's not really a linear output. So to so record stuff, um, do all that, right? So yeah, I mean, I'll see tomorrow. I still have some time I'm gonna edit tonight but I'll see like how much I can get done, how much I can push through and set that as a benchmark for myself for how much I can work in the future. But yeah, that's the update. Uh, great times ahead. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how this video does. But all right, bye.